today I'm going to show you how to make this popsicle treat box and it is the perfect size to fit Reese's peanut butter cups in. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, this time I'm going to make one with melon mambo because the red popsicles are my favorite. All right. And what I've done here first is I've just done a little template to kind of be able to show you where to end up cutting. But you're going to start out with a piece of cardstock that is six and a quarter by five and a half. Okay, so those are the dimensions. I guess let me scooch this over a little bit here. Right, right about here, I think. Okay, so on the six and a quarter size, we're gonna start out with a five eighths inch. And everyone has problems with the eighth of an inch things. So the big line that's right here, that's a half an inch. Then skip the teeny weeny little line and go to the next small line. That's five eighths, okay? So you've got the half inch here, and then the next small line, not teeny line. Okay, so right here, that is five eighths of an inch. So we're gonna go there and we're going to score across it. Then I'm gonna slide it up to two and seven eighths. So here's two and seven eighths means you're really close to the three inch mark. So again, you're gonna ignore the teeny weeny lines and just go with a small one. So two and seven eighths. And then three and a half, there's an easy measurement, right? So three and a half, and then five and three quarters. Clear over here, and we'll get that. And so here at the end, you just have a little half inch piece. Then we're gonna turn it, and now we're on the five and a half inch side. And we're gonna go to that five eighths again. So remember, right here's a half an inch, one small line after that, not teeny line. Score it. And then we're going to go to four and seven eighths. There's four, seven eighths is going to be the small line before we get to the five. Okay, so we've got all the scoring done. I'm gonna go ahead and, whoops, I'm gonna go ahead and set that aside. And then let me get my paper snips out here. And if we look at the template, what we wanna do, here are the score lines. We wanna cut out the corner and then put little notches in these others. So let me show you here. So this is a side um, that we ended up on. This is only half an inch, and this one is 5 eighths of an inch. So on the half inch side, we're going to cut that corner off where the score lines are, like that, and then the same thing here. And those are the only parts that you're actually going to cut off. The rest of this, we're gonna cut where this small square is here. So right now I've just cut onto the score lines. And now I just want to cut a little teeny snippet out of each one of those. So let me get those out of the way so you can see. All right, so you see how that is? That's just gonna help it all fold together better. Then the same thing here, we're gonna cut it there. We're not gonna cut it here because it's already cut. And then we're gonna cut a tiny little snippet there. And then just a tiny little snippet there. So you can see how these areas that were squares, we now have little tiny snippets out of it. We're gonna do the same thing over on this other side, exactly the same. So cutting, oh, I got some fuzz in there or something. Cutting it up in here to the line and then snip it. Straight on the score line, straight on the score line and snip it. Okay, we are all set with that. Now, if you look at my sample, you can see this, and, and that being with a double popsicle stick like this, if it's a real one, you're going to take and break it in between and share it with a friend. Well, I wanted to give the little look of the indentations that are generally in popsicles. So for that, what I did here is I created a template, and this is the same size as this. So this is two and a quarter, by four and a quarter for this template, okay? And then what I did is I took and I measured five eighths of an inch on each side. So five eighths of an inch here, drew a line. Five eighths of an inch here, drew a line. Five eighths, draw a line. Five eighths, draw a line. So that's what these little grids are in here for. And then I'm gonna take the three fourths inch circle punch and what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna line this up. I want this line to fall right in the middle of the circle, and I want this line to fall right at the bottom, okay? 
so right there so I have it centered here and this line is right at the very bottom of this so I'll punch that out and do the same thing right over here right at the bottom and then centered flip it around same thing here once you've done this once you can reuse it over and over and over again for doing the sponging for the inside all right so we've got that and then what I want to do is I want to get my paper trimmer back out and I'm gonna lay it in here and what I'm gonna do let me just get something to point with I want the outside edge of this circle to fall right in the cutting track so I've got it right there and right there then I'm gonna put my cutting blade right in there and slice up okay so that cut it right there then I'm gonna scooch it over and do the same thing this outside edge right in that cutting track and same thing over here oops hang on I'm stuck there we go then this pops out and we have that little template part and then I would do the same thing here so let me just I'll get my original back out so I've got both of those I'm just gonna go ahead and use this for the sake of making things quicker and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lay it down right in the center here and I'm going to get use the matching ink to match the cardstock and this again is melon mambo and then I want a sponge I take the big sponges and I cut them into 8 or 12 pieces it's little to hold on to and it works really well and then I'm going to go ahead and sponge this on here making sure that it just goes in this um, this middle part and not onto the outside so I sponge it a little bit first and then I kind of rub it so we are set with that next thing that I'm going to do grab my bone folder and we are going to score it or fold it on every one of the score lines here and just burnish it really nice okay so we have that now if you notice here on my sample um, the popsicle sticks need to go in there so how did we do that all right so with this what I want to do is I want to figure out what the front is okay because on this I want the popsicle sticks to be on the back side so here on these ends this is the half inch end and this is a 5 8 inch end the 5 8 inch end is going to be the top part of the box so if this is the top this is the bottom so I want to fold in this flap and then I'm going to use the half inch circle punch and here I want it just centered over that and I just barely want to clip into it so as I've got it here I'm just barely into that fold and I've got this centered along here okay so I'm gonna punch and I'm gonna scooch it over to this one and do the same thing just barely over the edge and centered over this there we go then I just bought a package of craft sticks so popsicle sticks from the craft store and I have some tear and tape on here so let's see can get this off here and then on the inside so here is my sticky part I'm gonna take and stick that in that hole and stick it down and we'll get this other one come on okay and stick that through that hole and I just want to make sure that I have the sticks lined up straight kind of the same length and everything so there I think that's good all right and then as I put the box together this is the flap that's going to help hold it all together so I do want adhesive on this so best thing when you're doing a box is to use the tear and tape it is uh, much stronger for holding things together than the snail or even the the green glue Oops, hang on, I got that just a little too long. There we go. All right, so I am going to get this off of here. And again, this is on that half inch side, not the five eighths of an inch side. And then, have you ever tried putting a box together and you're going like this, trying to get it all lined up and then it's not quite right? Here's the easiest way to do it. Fold this over, here's the sticky side. Bring this 
right down on top of it. Okay, then your edges are all lined up and everything else. Okay, so we have that. Then what you're gonna do on the ends, you're gonna fold in those teeny weeny little tabs, then fold in the bottom, and then last you'll fold in the top. So we're gonna go ahead and put some tear and tape on there. That's gonna get the bottom edge. Same thing here. You're gonna put your treat in, which, hmm, guess what, I don't have any Reese's left, but we would fold those in, fold the bottom side in, and then we'll put our tear and tape here. And this will make it really easy to open it without tearing it to shreds. And there we go. So now all of my seams, if you will, or, or raw edges are here, here, and right here. So they're all on the bottom side. So when it's sitting like this, it's really cute. And then you can do up a basket of them um, all lined up and, and have a really fun time. So I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you enjoyed your visit today. I'd love to have you come back another time. So have fun making these and happy stamping. Bye-bye.